Welcome, and I'm Suzanne Francis from Craftgate. Today I have with me Denise Chalice, who's the sales representative in Western Australia for Singer, Faf and Husfana. Thank you for joining me, Denise. Thank you, Suzanne. It's a pleasure. And Denise is going to tell us about the Singer Sewing Machine 4423, which is also classified as a heavy duty one for utilising when you're wanting to sew with vinyl and denim. That's right, Denise, isn't it? Yes, that's yes. great. Um, this machine is a little bit of a faux pas. When we talk about it being heavy duty, mm -hmm. you'd expect it to be a very heavy machine to lift. Right. It's actually extremely light, um, but it is capable of going through nine to 12 layers of denim without My a problem. My goodness. Sewing through your vinyls and your leathers, um, repairing your horse blankets, canvas, tarpaulins. So it really is a lovely machine and it also has um, some good dressmaking features on it as well. So it is um, good for a range of um, sewing right. situations. Now you've got a sample in front of us, yes. which is a vinyl belt. Yes, I've got a um, vinyl belt here. Um, the thing to remember when you're sewing on vinyls and leathers is to use a Teflon foot a Teflon foot will allow the um, fabric, or in this case the vinyl, to feed smoothly. And the other thing that you must remember is to put a denim or a um, vinyl right. needle into mm -hmm. the machine as well. And um, with our 4423 to change the feet over, it's very easy. It's just a matter of pressing the little release bar at the back there and then lining this up and popping that next one back on there. And also the thread that you've got on the machine at the moment is your normal poly cotton. Yes, you can use any thread right. on the machine. If you wanted to use a heavy duty thread like a top stitch thread, you will have to adjust your top tensions and your bobbin tension. Right. Um, which case I will suggest taking into a, a service centre or the Singer yes. um, dealership that you purchase the machine from mm -hmm. and get them to adjust it. Right. Because the bobbin is a little bit tricky with the top loading ones to adjust the tension. Uh huh. Yes, that's right. So um, with the decorative stitches, this particular model comes with 23 decorative mm -hmm. stitches or 23 stitches altogether. And um, they're all selected by this stitch dial here. And the stitches in blue are for stretch stitching or you can use them for decorative stitching. Um, to initiate the machine to sew those, you just just a matter of turning this dial around mm -hmm. so that the um, S1 for stretch is up, straight up here and then whenever you turn this dial selector here, the stitch selector will be the blue one rather the, than right. the black one. Yes. So there's quite a good range of stitches to select from mm -hmm. to do your um, decorative work. Right. Now you've also got some denim pieces there with you. You were I actually do. going to sew through some thick thicknesses for us. That's just right. to sew, show us how effective the machine is. Yes. And everyone's been waiting for this. <laughs> <laughs> See how many layers we can successfully sew through. Yes. Well, what I'll start with, Suzanne, is um, most of us would do repairs such as jeans hems and things right, like that. That's right, certainly, never and ending. Yes. That's right, and you will have problems um, with the needle feeding and penetrating uh -huh. through the fabric. I'm just going to select a straight stitch, so these are the black, the black stitches here. Right. I'm going for a stitch length. When you're doing a heavy duty fabric, you need to increase your stitch length to around three, three and a half. Right. Um, we do have variable stitch width and lengths uh -huh. as well, so that makes this machine even more interesting to play with because there's different things that we can do with it. And if I can just mm. find my foot pedal, foot, which yes. I've got. So that handles two layers very effectively, doesn't it? That's right. It glides through very readily. Okay, so then right. what I'm going to do is I'm going to open out my seam. Uh -huh. And I'm going to fold it over, and that's imitating the seam on a pair of that's jeans. That's true, that's right, yes. Okay. 
And we're going to sew through that tricky bit when you come up to a, a seam line. Yes, that's right. And it's handled it very effectively, hasn't it? It has. Yes. I do slow down when I come to mm. the seam just to give the um, needle a chance to complete the revolution right. and format, yes. format, um, create the stitch correctly. Um, and as you see, it had no problems going through that. No, that's and true. And that's actually four layers. You've got two there, three, four. Um, I like to live life dangerously. <laughs> Are we going to try some more layers? We're yes. going to take another fold. Oh my goodness, so that'll bring <laughs> us up to six? Uh, uh, five, 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 five layers. All right. That's right. So let's see how we go. And as you said, you've slowed down a little yes, bit I to do. let it go through over that fold. Don't normally sit on the side <laughs> of the machine. And as you can see, it's, it's handled gone it through that very well, hasn't it? Yeah, it's right. it hasn't lost. So its... that's five layers of denim. Right. What I've got here is three layers. Mm -hmm. And if I then fold that over, that's six. Six. And that's nine. Nine. And that's a fairly good sandwich. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how effectively it handles yes. it. Yes. Now we do have extra presser foot lifter mm -hmm. height. Um, if you do happen to have something that as thick as this yes. going through. So we just raise that up. Make sure that you put do put your presser release um, right. presser bar down because it looks like it's down because of the thickness of the fabric. In actual fact it mightn't be, it so might you really do down. need to and check. And you'll certainly yes. know if you haven't got it down. <laughs> so that's nine layers of denim. My goodness, and it's handling it so effectively, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. no problems yeah. at all. That's great. So it's got a lot of tremendous features and is a, almost a, a workhorse. Oh, it is. Fantastic. It, could, yes. it would be great for um, farmers who mm. need to do repairs and they've all got overalls and things like that or horse blankets, um, down to the um, home sewer. Yes. Now, because we've got um, the ability to remove our accessory tray, which, by the way, all your accessories are actually stored in the front mm -hmm. here, um, we now have a free arm so that when we're doing the hems of our jeans, That's we right. can actually put the tube slide on, them on, slide yeah. them on as well. Which makes it so much easier, doesn't that's, it? That's yes. right, yeah. it does. Um, you can drop your feed dogs with this machine. Right. So there's a little lever at the back here, it's just a matter of sliding it so you can drop your feed dogs if you want to mm -hmm. do some free hand darning yes. or even... Um, some free motion embroidery That's or right. stippling yes. or something like that. We'll just pop those dog mm -hmm. feeds back up again because if I don't, I forget for later. Anything. That's <laughs> right. So I'll just bring those back All up. Right. One of the things I want to show you as well is mm -hmm. this. This is um, like an entry level type machine. Yes, right. And um, not only can you drop your feed dogs mm -hmm. with an entry level machine, but we do have a one step buttonhole on this machine Fantastic. as well, which is really um, a treat to have. Because that's not something you will find often on an entry level machine. No, you'll get a four yes. step buttonhole. Mm. And look, in reality, it's just a matter of not having to turn the dial, but this does a beautiful buttonhole right. for yes. you. So all you do is you turn your stitch dial selector around to the buttonhole. Right. You take your stitch length back to the buttonhole symbol here. Yes. Take your width up to around about probably five mm -hmm. and your tension, you can probably drop your tension just a little bit right. and your needle position is in the centre. Center. Now this is the buttonhole foot here mm. and your button goes into the back the here. The width that you want. That's yes, right. Yes. So we pretend with our bobbins that Bobbin. they're buttons. Mm. So you just snap that closed. Oops, Oops. missed it. <laughs> Slipped out. like so, Lovely. nice and firmly. Yes. And the distance of this here, mm -hmm. um, as it pulls backwards and forwards, adjusts the distance here, which is then affected by the buttonhole lever. Right. So that will actually determine the size of the button. You don't have to do any measuring oh, how fantastic or anything like is that. that. Yes. That's right. So we just pop that down underneath there like so. And then we take a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. 
you bring down your buttonhole lever which is on the side here and right. just give it a push and that yes. initiates it into the first stage of right. the buttonhole. Make sure I've done everything else mm -hmm. that I have to do. Lower the presser foot bar. And all you do Ready now is us. let it make yeah. its own buttonhole. When it gets back mm -hmm. to the beginning, um, you will just have to watch it because it won't stop. You have oh, to actually right. stop you it actually when it comes to, yeah, yes. back to the beginning. Mm. So that's actually quite open, but that's oh. very easy fixed by adjusting our stitch length. And making it closer. And making yeah. it closer again. So right. if I just give that another push. So it's a fantastic machine for a beginner, a good starting machine, Yes. but also for the more experienced, it's a great basic machine to have on hand. Yes, good yes. little workhorse mm. for um, if you're doing uh, lots of lots of sewing. That's right, um, mending, mending and, and, and stuff like especially that. children's right. garments and children's things, costumes. Garments, that's right. Yes. So as you can see when we adjusted our stitch yes. length, um, it did become a lot closer. The machine is capable of sewing 1,100 stitches per mm. minute, so it will go very fast. Um, it also has the ability to adjust the, I've got to say this very carefully, <laughs> presser foot pressure. Right, So that yes. if you have very light fabric underneath it, you may want to release the pressure That's slightly. That's right, yes. And if you've got something um, a little bit heavier, you may want to tighten it mm. up if you're having problems with the feeding. But I personally have never had to use that. Right. Um, and I've actually, to be quite honest, never adjusted tension, whether I'm sewing on chiffon or denim. It right. just seems it's to have... It's handles it all well, yes. It handles yes. it all very, very well. That's right. Mm. Um, yes, so this is our... Entry level 4423 heavy duty, mm. which Singh is very proud of, and it has done extremely well mm. in the market. People are very excited about it. Thank you, Denise, for telling us about the Singer 4423 sewing machine. I'm sure people will enjoy sewing with it and with the different effects that you can achieve with the different thicknesses of fabric. For further information about the machine, do refer to our website. Thank you, Denise. Thank you.